What do pets do when their owners are away? That is a question asked by 0.03% of the population, but it is already plaguing the minds of like tens. It is a question that you have the answer to already. Oh wow, they're sad because they want company, or they just be sitting there listening to Frank Ocean. I mean, like they don't really have that many options in life. Do you ever just think of something that makes you sad for no reason? Like it's not a depressing thing, it's not a sad subject, but the very idea of it brings you to tears. It has you looking out the bus window like a music video. It has you sitting in the shower crying. It has you hitting your kneecaps with hammers because you just want to fall to the ground and not look at whatever's in front of you. And that thing I'm talking about is taxes. Taxes suck, dude. Oh, but also I hate Secret Life of Pets. We're, we're gonna talk about that today. You see, Furry Toy Story isn't really that bad of a movie. It's harmless, it's pointless, it's just for kids. And that's what angers me. That is what upsets me. This is a movie that I don't see people getting angry enough about. This is a series not enough people find annoying, and that really needs to change. You see, I love animals. God, do I love animals. I have my own little animal farm where I take care of a bunch of animals animals because I'm just that good of a person. Some might say I'm a party animal even, so I can relate to animals on a spiritual level. If I can party like an animal, can an animal party like me? Now that's the real question. And you see, when Secret Life of Pets was first announced, I was actually really excited. I was excited to see some cutesy bootsy stuff about pets doing things secretly in their life. That's such an amazing concept. Yet yeah, when I took time and I, and I thought about that, I, I thought about the very concept of the movie. And then I realized that it is a beat for beat ripoff of cats and dogs. Yep. Oh, y'all thought I was going to say Toy Story again, like every critic out there? No, 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 we don't do that. 24 Frames of Nick is different. 24 Frames of Nick is an empire. I'm definitely not going to mention the similarities of how Max is basically Woody, and this fat turd is Buzz, and how they fight for love from the owner, just like Buzz and Woody in secrecy, like in Toy Story. Oh, blah, 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 then none of that matters. It's a ripoff of cats and dogs, because look, there's a cat, and there's a dog. It's unoriginal. It's an unoriginal movie. Zero out of ten. You know what movie had a cat and a dog? Look, it, it ha there's a cat. And there's a dog. It's like absolutely disgusting how blatant of a ripoff this movie is of cat and dogs. I'm surprised Illumination is even still standing after this blatant plagiarism. A lot of people like to scream at Illumination for creating minions. And while yes, they're only created for making money, I'll be honest when I say that they were decent in the first movie, but only the first movie. But guess what? That still counts. And look, I look great in a minion shirt. I look really, really hot in a minion shirt. Look at me. Oh my god. God, but Secret Life of Pets? No, I look terrible in a Secret Life of Pets shirt. It's disgusting. This franchise was never decent. Never even above average with its cutesy characters. Go watch it right now and try to remember any of the names to any of the characters right after I challenge you to do so. You will only remember that fat turd and that, you know, the bunny is played by Kevin Hart. That, that's, that's all you got. Secret Life of Pets is a 2016 illegal gambling website starring a bunch of people. So, 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 so many people. Look at all those people, voice acting cartoon animals. This movie is a movie that actually pains me. It causes me to down vitamin gummies like crazy. I, I just hate this movie but for no reason, for no reason whatsoever. I baby rage over this movie for no reason. The colors are nice, the characters look okay, the animation is passable, the fur on the animals is, is like, it's a, it's an okay fur, the water on the ground looks nice, look at that water, it's a, it's a pretty cool looking water, and, and, and that's, that's like, that's it, that, that, <laughs> that's all it has, and that's why, that's why I hate this movie, I hate the averageness of this movie, the waste of hours that are spent on this movie. I hate how hard Universal pushes this movie. Look, look at all the marketing of this boring franchise. I went to the Barney store at Universal Studios and it wasn't even Barney. It was Secret Life of Pets. That, that doesn't even make sense. This movie made almost half a billion dollars. This movie that no one talks about. A movie that I can bet no kids get excited over. The first five minutes are the only semi-cute part. You have a sequence of all the owners leaving their pets behind for a day and then the pets freak out and do things that pets don't normally do. And now, now, isn't that hilarious? And then you just get the most boring title card. Seriously, this is this is a movie on the big screen, an animated movie, and this is this is the best title card you got. I can make this in three seconds. Look at look at this. While it's just a small aspect of the movie, it can bring you into movies in a really great way. Toy Story's title sequence is small yet very peaceful. You got a friend in me. You got a 
Even Captain Underpants uses their story to incorporate the title smoothly. It's a very great transition. For I am Captain Underpants. The origin issue. This? This is just boring. So we meet all these dogs that have animal traits. That that's that's about it. We see the dog's main owner. His name is I don't know, uh, Moop. His owner brings home a fat turd. Instantly, Moop is like, "Yo, yo, why is there a fat turd in my house?" And they like fight for the owner's affection. Moop makes it clear that he doesn't like fat turd, and Turd is like, "Hey, man, can you can you like not, dude? Can can you just like not? I'm just trying to live. I'm just trying to be in this house. Can you like not?" They keep fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting until one day they get captured by animal control and then like all of their animal friends make a mission to rescue him now it's an adventure a, a an adventure across the pet's land uh, across across new york I, I think we're in new york i don't know the dog duo are taken in the sewer where there's a bunch of scary animals and kevin hart who plays a bunny he play he plays a bunny from this point on in this movie, you just have the contrast of, yo, it's cute animals, but guess what? They're also scary and they're also edgy. They're ooboo, but they're dangerous. They're danger ooooous. There's like a big battle where they try to escape and a snake tries to eat them, but lol XD, the snake gets absolutely demolished. Kevin Hart, the bunny, is so mad about this, so he screams for their arrest. They escape and try to make it back home. Meanwhile, the nerd animal dogs attempt to track them down by going around the city. We meet many animals, so many animals, but they have no traits whatsoever. They just exist to be cute animals. They're ooh woo boring slates, boo woo slates. The dog duo gets in a meat factory where they freak out over the meat. Oh, there's so much meat and they just want the meat. They love meat, they're dogs. They eat so much meat and they get stoned because of it. Nerd crew gets to the bunny lair, but they have to run away, it was, it was like a pointless trip and then guess what haha -ha, bunny does a, does a little he does a little chocolate pebbles on the ground he does a, does a little fr fruity chocolate pebbles on the ground look at that look at that we then get a big action battle on the bridge where all of the pets have a big fight it's really well animated and intense oh jeez. Oh, oh god watch out oh no oh no oh god no no not the pomeranian the dog duo then drowns in water and and that's it that's the end of the movie it's crazy. What a dark ending for a kid's movie. Secret Life of Pets is annoying for no reason. It's like when a baby is screaming on an airplane. Everything about this movie is either stolen or another pandering oo-woo joke. Every single character exists to be an oo-woo. All this movie is, is slapstick. It's awful slapstick where dogs are just abused and destroyed but not even in a funny way. I adore slapstick. Slapstick is cute and fun when it's actually really well done. When there's a passion for excitement behind it. But here it's just like, oh. Wow, see this dog? What if we just like chuck it in space and watch it fall down? S isn't that funny? Oh wow, see that see this cat? This adorable fat cat? What if it gets cut what if it gets covered in food all, all clumsy like? Isn't that amazing? And besides the slapstick, the normal comedy dialogue is awful. They're, they're, it's not even it's not even for kids. They say everyone's going to Brooklyn these days. It's making a real comeback. I'm not talking about hipster real estate trends. Oh yes, a joke about New York real estate. I'm, I'm sure your market is going to chuckle hard at that one. In general, I just hate the designs of these animals, like massively. Seriously, just, just look at this hamster. I think I speak objectively when I say that this is a very awful design. It's not even cutesy. It's just stupid. It's just stupid boy. Stupid little fat hamster boy with his tiny eyes. Stupid boy. That's the thing with this whole movie. The designs of the animals just don't work. They're not iconic. They're not designed. They're just awful. Nothing about how these animals look tell me anything about them. They're either overly fat or overly small, but there are no character traits about them from their designs whatsoever. They look like prototypes, like when something animated has the characters in a different outfit in like a test run, looking all weird. They did that for this movie and they just kept it final probably. That's that's how gross it looks to me. The colors of this movie are honestly gorgeous, seriously. They're very vibrant and beautiful, but no matter how good the colors are, they still feel off for some massive reason it just feels so weird the reason i hate this movie so so much is because it's just wasted potential you have this team of talented artists this massive animation budget and this ability to sell your movie with insane marketing and you just choose to waste it all on the most forgettable movie one that 
has nothing special going for it, nothing iconic, nothing worth the watch. Even the sequel seems like the franchise has just got way worse somehow. The story just seems like it took a back turn into a DVD movie. Even the animation quality seems less vibrant. It just makes me angry, because look at all these cute puppies. Even if I hate their designs, I can admit that they're kind of cute. So why do you just waste the entire story on doing nothing with it? There's no central theme to this movie. Not in the story, the visuals, the designs. Nothing. The only single thing that they had going for them is that they are pets. They are cute pets. And it made a half a billion dollars because of that. This movie pains me. It pains me for no reason. But at least it can't touch my favorite series, Minions. Oh, come on, dude. Come on.